So we just got a pretty special koala. This is actually one of two um, 100 series tenors, and it's not your standard, um, mostly because of the wood and the bracing design. So Noah decided to take some old 100, over 100 year old mahogany and make this beautiful ukulele. It's not your typical 100 series tenor. Um, this wood is actually, this is the natural color of the wood. It's not stained at all. And the tonal characteristics are a bit different from your standard mahogany, which is nice. It's a little more responsive, especially with this bracing. Um, Noah used a modified ladder bracing, which was used on some of the old Martin baritones. And uh, the difference is you get this really nice, smooth, and very clear mid-range tone. The overall tone is um, very balanced. There's no uh, frequencies that jump out um, from the low all the way to the high. You know, very good clarity as well. We got the uh, Pepe Romero UT2 low G set with floor carbons and um, it's one of my favorite sets. It's a very versatile set. I find myself putting it on um, a lot of ukuleles because it brings out a lot of tones that you don't necessarily get from uh, stock strings, for one. Um, this, I think, pairs very well. It's a smooth wound low G, so you don't get a lot of squeaky squeakiness um, as you're moving around the fretboard, which is very nice. Um, this rosette I really like. This is a mother of pearl, white mother of pearl. And uh, it's very sleek, very elegant looking. Um, this dark mahogany kind of gives it this really nice vintage look and feel. Kind of is vintage because the mahogany is very old. Um, but gorgeous tone. Um, yeah, very, very nice coloring on here. I'm a big fan of mahogany. So when Noah brought it up the other day, I was pretty excited to, to get my hands on it. And when we first played, it was like, yeah, this is very nice. So you got a radius fretboard on here, which is going to make it a little more comfortable when you're doing bar chords. And it's pretty subtle, too. It's not going to take a long time to get used to um, the curvature of the fretboard, which is really nice. Uh, this is very interesting too. So no fret dots except the 12th fret here. You got this nice Japanese inspired design. Noah being part Japanese, he likes to incorporate, incorporate a lot of these cool designs here. It's kind of like the Japanese marquetry type um, Wagara uh, series of patterns. There's so many different patterns. This one's really nice. 
very subtle, soft spoken. You got side dots here, done in mother of pearl, satin neck, gloss body. Um, some of the best gloss finishes come out of that workshop downstairs. Thank you, Ryan. And uh, yeah, Koala faceplate, uh, rosewood, Madagascar rosewood on the bridge and fretboard. You got nice Madagascar rosewood on the faceplate, really nice and dark, makes the Koala logo pop out a little bit more. And these come fitted with Goto machine head tuners. Very smooth. Also a very soft spoken design, um, which I like a lot in gunmetal. Very nice. So yeah, check it out. The new and pretty, I'm going to say it's pretty rare because um, Noah doesn't have a lot of these sets left. So if you can get it, you might, you should definitely pick this one up. Thank you. 